Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about short electrical wires in electrical boxes and how we fix them. So stick around. Okay, so here we have a, sh a wiring box, a uh, device box actually, with some short wires in it. So you can see inside that the wires are pretty short. I'll get the light on there so you can see. Now, from a side view, these wires, there's nothing we can really do with them. So what do we do? We go to change the device and the wires are too short. So there's typically two ways we can do this. Um, one, we can try to loosen the box connector in the back of the box, which is right in there, and try to pull wire down and pull wire up and get some, some more wire out of the box and then we can strip it. Um, but usually, most electricians, when they wire a home or put, put an electrical box in, they'll come down the wall with the stud and uh, then right into the box to save on wire. So there's usually not uh, much there for spare. Some electricians will uh, put loops in, so we will uh, sometimes get lucky and go ahead and uh, pull the wire out and just strip it off and then put the new device on. So the other way is uh, we're left with these short wires. We have to strip them and do something with, with them. So we're going to show you how we uh, put pigtails on to extend the wires uh, inside the box. So I'll try to get a better side view here. So the first thing we do when we get into a situation like that is, is how do we strip the wires? So we're going to need a pair of actual wire strippers uh, to go in and get a bite on the wire and strip it at the 14 gauge where it's supposed to be. So we'll strip all four wires. One at a time. And that will get us that will get us the ends on the wire. Now from a front angle, you can see inside the box that the ground wires are actually too short. So the first thing we need to do is to make these ground wires longer. So what we're going to do is strip a piece of 14-2 wire. I'll go ahead and strip that. And this will expose the individual ground and the individual black and the individual white so that we can work with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that wire and we're going to bend about two inches onto the back of it. Maybe a little bit less for those who are a little bit shorter. And we're going to stick that in there and try to line them up with the rest of the conductors. Once we get them sort of into place where they need to be, we're going to take our linesman and we're going to twist in a clockwise motion and that will secure them together and give us an extended ground. Now additionally we can always wrap it to the back of the box as well but where the two are already done that way uh, I'm not going to bother. So to secure that connection we're just going to go ahead and stick a merit on the back of it or a wire nut and where it's so short and I can't really get my fingers in there, I'm going to take my linesman's and give it an extra twist. A couple twists maybe. And then we're going to stick that right into the back of the box there. There we go. And that gives us a ground wire. Then we're going to repeat the procedure. We are going to take our white wire that we have stripped and we are going to strip it back with our strippers line up our white wires we're going to put a bend on the end of the white pigtail what we call it we're going to line them up the best we can inside the box this is where we usually get fingerprints on the client's wall which they don't like, so we clean that off, and then we're going to twist them. We're going to get them in there, and we're going to twist them together. This part can be sometimes difficult. 
get it lined up just properly. There we go. And we're going to give some good twists clockwise. And then we're going to trim the end of that wire off without getting the other ones. And then we're going to again put our Marek connection on it. And this will give us our whites. This one's a little longer, so I can get my fingers on there. So that now gives us a longer white wire. So now all we have is our black. So the black is usually the last one. We want to get those started with our fingers. So they're a little hard to get going. And then we're going to take our black wire. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a little end on it and we're going to get it sort of started there. Then we're going to twist. Once we twist, I'll twist them together. I'm going to trim the end. Get our pliers on there very carefully. There we go. And yet another Marek connection. This is what we call pigtails and how we extend wires. And like I said, we do this in a situation where um, there's just not enough to pull out of the wall. And then we'll tuck that in the back of the box ever so slightly. And then we have three nice long wires to put our device on. So we'll clip those off, usually about eight inches. That's usually between six and eight inches is the code. Uh, we'll put our hooks on. Hoping you can see all that. Yep. And then we'll put our device on. So our black is going to go on our gold. Our silver is going to go on our our, our, uh, our sorry our white is going to go on our silver, and our green is going to go on. Our bare copper is going to go on our bare green. And that's it. And then we basically have a nice long receptacle. We'll tighten those down, stick it in the wall. Um, and Bob's your uncle, or Fred's your nephew, or whatever you want to call it. So that, my friends, is pretty much how we extend wires in a box when they're too short. Um, we do this on several occasions because over time, uh, you know, if the wires get too short in the wall because it's older wiring, then we have to do that uh, to make them longer. So yeah, that's what we do. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that smash button and or smash that like button and we'll see you on the next one.